Everybody, welcome to the Scotch Show Wake Up Call. We are live here, 7.01 in the morning. Um, for people who think that we do this live every single morning, we do. However, um, today we're doing it at 7 instead of 8. We normally 8 o'clock every morning we, we get, do this thing. Uh, but today I am going to be running 5 miles uh, for uh, my health, for my training uh, for the uh, half marathon, which comes up in June, so I'm really excited to do this. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm I'm learning and getting to meet a lot of people, um, and and I think it's great when you can be in a social group. It says, "Oh, you remember when we ran when it was 13, 14 below outside, and now we're running when it's 80 and all this other stuff." So I'm excited, and I'm pumped up about that. So. Before we get on to the show itself, uh, we're going to go to Google really quick, and we're going to say, hey, Google, what's the temperature outside? In Duluth, it's currently 7 degrees. It's actually 7 degrees outside, folks, but the wind chill is saying no. So we'll see what the wind chill has uh, for us today. But first of all, we're going to go to our thumbs up and thumbs down. Uh, the memo got released, and I did say yesterday I was going to make a podcast about it if um, it got released and all this other stuff. I think the last one I have up there is still the State of the Union. I think that's a strong one, and I think talking about the Russia investigation to me is boring, so I don't really want to do that. Um, and as much as I love being on the podcast and talking about random crap with you guys, um, it had no interest to me whatsoever, I get that it was declassified, I get that, uh, you know, there was a lot of crap in there, but that's just what it is, it's a bunch of crap, and I think that, you know, I, I gotta give points to the uh, president for keeping his word to the congressman, um, and saying, yep, we're gonna, we're gonna release it, um, do I really care about the FBI? Um, not really. Um, you know, they do what they do, and you know they do a, a good job for the most part. Um, so, I mean, it's, it is what it is. And uh, I'm going to give a thumbs up to it being released. I'm going to give a thumbs up to... Uh, hell, give a thumbs up to the president for keeping his word. Uh, you know, not, not often do I do that, but I will give a thumbs up to the president for keeping his word. Um, and, you know, thumbs down all the, you know, crappy people that if they did what they did in the memo, it's, it's a memo. It's not, you know, law. It's not in the world. Okay, and we go to thumbs down, uh, for the Super Bowl game itself. Ever, you know, I, I think I decided I'm going to watch the game, uh, not too excitingly going to watch the game, but I'm probably going to watch the game, sit back, eat some wings, do something, um, drink, because God knows I need a drink to watch this football game, uh, but the Super Bowl game still happening tomorrow in Minneapolis, um, it is going to be the Patriots and the Eagles, I don't care who wins, um, I'm not betting too much on the game. Um, I'm actually betting candy on the game. So if I win, then I win candy. If I lose, then I have to pay for candy. Whatever. Um, I should have put Girl Scout cookies on it, but whatever. So, thumbs down to the Super Bowl game for not making me interested. I'm more interested in the commercials and the Puppy Bowl. The Bissell Kitty Halftime Show will be, well, Justin Timberlake is pretty awesome. So, cheers for him. As I have my morning tea, even though I'm running, I'm still having my morning tea. Got to warm up some way. Uh, thumbs up to the Nebraska boy with Down syndrome, taking a half court shot and nailing it. I uh, got to give that a big time thumbs up. That comes from our uh, our super fan Tiffany. Um, so big time thumbs up for that. Uh, you know anything when people can show. What they truly can do uh, when they try. And uh, when you are handicapped in any way or disabled in any way and you do things that 
people tell you, hey, you can't do, you'll never accomplish this, and you do it, um, it, as much as that is a great thing for you, it's also when you put your finger up and you move some fingers down, except for that middle one, uh, to life itself and to the people who said, no, you can't do that. That's what it is, and it's like, hey, celebrate that, respect that, love that, and have a great time with that, because uh, you did something that people doubted you on, and there should never be a doubter when there's heart out there. All right, hopefully that sounded good. Uh, now, we're going to give a thumbs down to cold weather, because it's cold outside. Um, I don't like cold. I'm going to go running in the cold. I don't like cold. So, we'll see how it goes if I survive this. Cheers one more time. I'm drinking tea. Going to warm up. Alright, I'm drinking tea live on the show. This is great. Alright, thumbs up to the dad in the Michigan court. Uh, he asked for five minutes alone with Larry Nasser. Uh, and then he tried to attack him, and I really wanted him to attack him. Uh, I'm honestly surprised the sheriff's move before he got a punch out. Um, you know, and poor Larry Nasser. Uh, if the guy got a punch uh, to him, you know, let him spend the night in jail to just to teach him a lesson, um, and, and take you know take three years off of Larry Nasser's uh, convictions. Because, you know what, the guy is going to fry for 300 plus odd years. He's got three different sentences. And I, I, last time I checked, nobody lives that long. So, uh, you know, give him the, oh, I'm so sorry you got hurt. We'll take a, we'll take a month off your sentencing. But you're still going to die, mother... Okay. Um, <laughs> excuse my, uh, my passion on there. Uh, but they should have let this guy just give him one shot. Um, I would have laughed. Um, I know they need to protect him, but, you know, put put him out there. And, uh, you know, I would not be ashamed. I, I, I would be, yeah, I can't even say I would be ashamed. I wouldn't be saddened. Um, I'm not planning anything. I'm not telling people to do anything. Um, I'm not plotting, scheming against, you know, to injure this guy. Uh, but if this guy ends up like Jeffrey Dahmer with a big broom up his butt, um, I, I wouldn't cry. I wouldn't be sad. I'd be like, hey, you got what you deserve, dude. Um, so, you know, whatever. I don't think prison people listen to me anyway. So, if they do, hello, prison people. Uh, we all love you. Hopefully you're having a great time. Some love you more than others, but you don't get conjugal visits, so it doesn't matter anyway. Alright, so, got to make a few jokes here on the Scott Show Wake Up Call. This is what we do. Alright, and thumbs down, last thumbs down goes to sellouts of things. Uh, because when things sell out, you don't get tickets. And I wanted to go see Mamma Mia uh, at the Playhouse at the new North Shore Theater here in town. Uh, but... They sold out, and the uh, North Shore Theater's looking good, so big time shout out to those folks. They have a lot of other plays coming up. I'm not excited to see any of them, so Mamma Mia was pretty much it. And, uh, unless they do rent, then uh, I'll go see that. Um, but the other thumbs down of this is high ticket prices. And not only, yes, sellouts are a big deal. Uh, when things sell out, it happens. But high ticket prices are another thing. Uh, when you have uh, ticket price, Super Bowl, you know that makes sense. Two thousand, five thousand dollars, whatever. I know that. I, I get that. But when you have a third-rate singing group coming to town, or coming to you know St. Paul, where people who don't have very good music will listen. Um, you know, there are a lot of groups out there. Uh, newer music is terrible. I've said that numerous times. Um, I've looked at tickets for concerts um, and sporting events and then things like that. And they're just, in the upper echelons, I don't want to touch that. And I'm not going to pay that. So, 
you got to give a thumbs down to high ticket prices and uh, sell it for things you want to go to. High ticket prices for things that are crap. All right. We're going to go to checkid.com here. Uh, it's American Painters Day. It's Elmo's birthday, folks. Elmo's freaking birthday. Uh, it's Fort Chaplin's Memorial Day. It's Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. Uh, it's International Peco Sour Day. Don't know what that is. National Carrot Cake Day. National Kudova Karova Ice Worm Day. It's National Missing Persons Day. National pa- uh, Patient Recre... Uh, uh, National Patient... Okay, yeah, f- skip that one. It's National Wedding Ring Day. Uh, take a Cruise Day. Take Your Child to Library Day. And the day the music died... Um, you recognize, okay, and it's National Patient Recognition Day. Um, can't say big words at 7 o'clock in the morning when my mind is on running. I got running on my, on my mind. Um, shout outs today to all the wonderful people in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Um, as they did all their Groundhog Ease stuff. Um, they sure have a hell of a lot of fun. People got, got up. Went to Gobbler's Knob, which I think is the funniest name for anything. Um, and and they did their stuff. They had their fun. You know, Groundhog, Groundhog Day came and went. Punxsutawney, that's how they make their money. Um, I, I, it's like Black Friday for Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Um, all the hotels are booked solid. Uh, probably with double money on all of them. Uh, all the bed and breakfast, because they all want to be Bill Murray. They all want to wake up to the same, uh, rise and shine, campers, it's Groundhog Day. You know, all that great stuff. Um, to anyone living that life, that they can go to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, and enjoy, uh, the probably inflated prices for Groundhog Day. Um, hey, thumbs up to, thumbs up to Free Market in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Um... God love them. It's a great deal. I, I just love Groundhog Day. I just think it's cool. Uh, both the movie and the day. Give that a thumbs up yesterday. Uh, thumbs up. And a shout out to our great friend Tiffany. I want to thank her for everything. Uh, giving me some ideas for the show. Uh, to the main man with the master plan, Mr. Dan. Uh, he, you know... I have never in my wildest dreams met a man who is, you, you wouldn't think, you w- the first time you look at him, you just wouldn't think, hey, this guy, you know, he could probably pick up a car. Dan could probably pick up a car. Uh, this guy is freaky strong, um, looks, looks good in a suit, um, what, and probably one of my favorite people in life. Uh, so i got to give a shout out to Dan. Uh, he'll pick me up and throw me. Um, shout out to Shane. Uh, you know, we we got through a lot of fun stuff together. And, uh, you know, he's a great kid. Um, Violet. Shout out to Violet. Shout out to Ron. Uh, shout out to Jeff. A good friend of mine, Jeff, I saw on the bus the other day. A shout out to Angela. Shout out to Adam and his beautiful bride Jackie. Wonderful people. They're gonna be enjoying the Super Bowl today in Minneapolis. I I, I hope that they're there. Um, you know, hope somebody got hooked up with some tickets. Uh, shout out to my cousin Ashley, also in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There's a theme here, folks. Uh, shout out to Jamie. A uh, shout out to Tara. And shout out to Don today. I, I was thinking about uh, Mr. Don. Um, my cousin. Wonderful cousin. Great guy. Uh, wonderful man. So, uh, folks, we normally go here 15 minutes. We're going to go a few seconds over. Uh, just because I talk too much. And I know it. That's why That's why I even do the show. Because I talk too much. Uh, so, TCW Fantasy Wrestling coming to you to live tomorrow. Uh, probably after the Super Bowl. Uh, we'll be doing that as uh, NBC will be playing a show called This Is Us. Apparently it's a good show. I have not seen it yet, but it has Mandy Moore on it. And, you know, she's she's a credible actress. 
Um, I like Mandy more, actually. Uh, the Super Bowl tomorrow, like I said. Check out the commercials. Check out the Puppy Bowl. Uh, check out the Bissell Kitty Halftime Show. Um, the, uh, the, actually, the pregame show for the Super Bowl starts in, like, 15 minutes. Um, and I wish I was kidding. Uh, they, they always do, uh, crazy shows super early. And if you guys are in the Duluth, Minnesota area, check out today Cold Front Duluth. Um, I will probably not be down there as I have other, uh, plans and things that I have to do today. Um, but I do got to give a shout out to, uh, the organizers of Cold Front Duluth. Uh, no matter who you are, whether I like you or not, uh, you still put together something for the city to enjoy. Uh, the largest coffee break, it was just too damn cold. Um, you know, but, hey, if you get, you guys are having fire pits, you guys are having races or something, um... I think Superior's got you, though, on the Ice Festival because they really put together a great show. So thumbs up to Superior uh, for their Ice Festival last weekend and Duluth trying uh, trying to do something like that with Cold Front Duluth. Uh, go go check it out anyway, folks. And and I might, I might go just check it out because I'm already outside. I'm already freezing freaking cold. Uh, so, you know, free s'mores, it's okay. Um, uh, and our state pick today is North Carolina. Check us out on patreon.com slash the scat show. We are live on there as well as we are on patreon.com slash 102550. That's the one, uh, to help us end homelessness and poverty nationwide is on your side. Uh, so folks, uh, for me, for all the wonderful other people that get involved with the scat show in many different ways, we have lots of fans. Lots of friends, and, and most of all, you great listeners out there that are listening to this show. And uh, I am very thankful for you guys. Uh, this day in history will come after my five-mile run. Um, if I make it, I will be back with this day in history. And um, probably a few other podcasts. we got some other stuff going on today. Um, you know, it's February the 3rd, so what's up now? Uh, and uh, we will be back tomorrow with the Scott Show Wake Up Call Super Bowl edition. It will not be a super show. It might be. Who knows? Um, and I'm going to give you guys the number of how many shows we've done so far. Um, I will give you that number tomorrow here on the thescottshow.com. See you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. And don't forget to think about my five-miling run today. Uh, hopefully I make it, and I'll see you guys later on today for this date in history. <laughs>